All right, guys, Ian and Kevin here with part two of the uh, European Open, a LCGM8 Spin TV joint production. We're on hole eight here. Big old par five here, Kev, right? Oh, yeah. This kind of starts off with a dog leg right and then finishes with a dog leg left, I think. Oh, dog legs everywhere in this course, Ian. <laughs> they are. you got to throw straight in between. A lot of OB left and right. And I see a lot of different shots off the uh, tee here. It looks like Dave's throwing a really nice roller. He has an incredible... Roller. He does, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Beth up with the uh, sidearm off the pad. He did. And uh, Big Jerem as well, throwing another sidearm. Big Jerem used to be strictly sidearm. He did, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And that shows right there. Yeah. <laughs> he has one of the best sidearms in the game. Yeah. Looks like Will's opting for the backhand, throwing the Annie. Yeah. He, he's a great player. He is. Definitely. That one came up a little shorter than he wanted to think. Kind of Annie a little too long, but he's a bounce. You know, always happy with that. And here's Paul's second shot. Beasted, huh? Ripping out a huge backhand. There it is. There it is. That's a pretty big bomb, Kev. Yeah, great shot. Yeah. And Beast throws real far. Yeah. And so does this guy. Yeah. Will's ripping out a nice looking shot as well. Rubber band will. <laughs> right, man? Man. Just a big giant whip. He gets a pretty a little bit fat past uh, Paul's shot right there. Big germ with his second shot. Well, looks like this one's fading out a little early, Kev. That's a big shot. Yeah. Kind of got... I think he's still in bounds over there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Dave looks like he had to deal with a couple of trees on his second shot, but still ripped out a laser beam. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to have a, a chance for bird. Jeremy's third shot. Oh, did he hit a tree? Yeah, caught up early in them branches. Yeah, at least he stayed in bounds. And McBeast is McPark. Just a textbook, man. <laughs> Unreal. When's his instructional video come out? I know, right? Well, he says he's a great <laughs> player, but a terrible teacher. I've heard him say that before. <laughs> that was Will's third shot, and it went a little left of the pin, a little long. And here we're looking at Dave's third shot. And he's parked for a bird. So here we got Will with his birdie look. Oh, just short. Jeremy with his birdie look. Oh, front rib banger. Yeah. Here's Will tapping in his five. No problem there. Felberg with a nice birdie right there. Yeah. And another gonna let Paul putt? Eventually. Taps in that bird as well. Taking the lead right away here on uh, part two, Kev. I'd say so. Yeah, he's got a stroke lead over Will. And uh, Felberg and uh, Coin aren't too far behind. And that's gonna bring us to hole nine here. 338 foot big old dog leg right, Kev. <laughs> it is sidearm. Yeah, and apparently they uh, extended the parking lot, so there's a little more more OB this year. That's okay. what uh, you was telling me. But I don't think Paul has a problem with that uh, parking lot. Sidearm, <laughs> sidearm. It, it is sidearm all the way on this hole. Whoa, where's Dave throwing? He's just going bananas. What? Man. Did he skip an Annie back end right there or something? You know, he just. Uh... He's the professor of disc golf, you know? He's, he's the nutty professor. Yeah, he, he knows the game. <laughs> that he does. Jeremy with a really nice drive as well. That's right next to Paul. Let's see if Will can get pretty close as well. Opted for the, uh, the Annie backhand. I think he's throwing a putter in mid-range or something right there. And that one looked pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> he's a nice grouping right there. All three of them right in the line. Nice birdie for Big Jerm right there. Dave with his birdie look. No worries. He gets on a roll, he's just automatic, you know? Yeah, the guy's pretty fire. Yeah. Macbeth. No McWorries. And here comes Will. With his birdie try. That's a gimme for these guys. Yeah. But, uh, was that a star frame right there? 
Yes, it was. It was. Paul was still with the one-stroke lead over Will. And we're on a whole 10 here. And this one's just a super beast. A, kind of a dogleg rate and then another dogleg rate. And the uh, the basket's in like kind of this really narrow area of inbounds in between OB on either side. And Paul had a beautiful drive right there. Yeah, they, uh, off the tee, it's pretty downhill, I want to say. Looks like it. Pretty open. Yeah. Here's Dave with his drive. Oh, whack the tree. Yeah. Should give him a look for on his next shot, though. Oh, big germ throwing the backhand off the tee. And that one that looks like it's got a little too much turn, Kev. Yeah, I'd say so. I oh, think that one will be. That one will be long. Yeah, you want to give it a ton because it's such a long hole, but you can't give it too much and not have it hyzer out. Will shows you just how to do that. <laughs> I've seen him throw 550 foot hyzer bombs. Yeah, like, he's uh, pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, pr if you get a chance to watch these guys in person, definitely do. It's it's a spectacle. And there's Jeremy's third shot after the OB stroke, and look, he just threw a big old backhand hyzer bomb. I think Ooh. that almost got in. Wow, that was really close. Yeah, I think he was just a little short. I want to say, yeah. <laughs> really impressive shot though. Dave's giving it a rip as well. Oh, fade back in bounds. Ooh, squeaks it over to the fence, Kev. I'll give him a look for a uh, bird. Yes, it will. Yeah. Speaking of Will, there's his shot. Oh, Nestle. Oh, oh. OB. That one will be left right there? I think so. Dang. Paul's second shot's looking pretty good. Fading in towards the pin. Nestle. Yeah. Eventually. That's in Macbeth range, I want to say. Yeah. Should be. So, at Will, after the OB stroke, uh, comes up a little short. Why risk more than you have to? Yeah, it's a pretty scary green. Pretty fast. Can you easily roll OB. So, it's going to be day for Bird right here. <laughs> oh, look what I can do! <laughs> a little nice little Feldberg step putt right there. <laughs> Man, look how windy it is, too. Wow, what a putt. Let's see if Big Jerm can get his four. Oh. Tickle, tickle, Kev. Yeah. yeah. Here's McBeast for the bird. Every time. Guy's a machine. Yeah, he has a really cool, collected game. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier today. His mental game is just top-notch. All right, uh, Paul with a three-stroke lead over Will and Dave. Until he comes out to Heilman Disc Golf Course in Atascadero, <laughs> California. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let Central Coast Disc Golf know when you're going to show up. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> this, this hole is tough, though. There's OB everywhere on the pin there's a pawn to the right of the pin and then OB left the pin as well and there's Paul's disc next to the pin and then there's Paul's disc next to the pin you, yeah. don't, you don't want to skip off that and go along or something you know Dave looks like he knows what he's doing too yeah I think so he's played this course a couple times man really nice drive big germ throwing the big old hyzer bomb as well guy has a bomb doesn't he yeah yeah I think he wins distance competitions with his backhand yeah and his forehand is probably one of the top two, three in the world. Speaking of Heiser Bomb machines, here's Will Schusterich. Whew, little long, still in bounds. And yeah. Gotta look for two. Everybody's putting for a bird here. It was apparently one of the longer part threes in the uh, course, I want to say. Bang, bang for Will right there. Nice putt. They call this course the Beast, Kevin. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's pretty gnarly. Big germ, no worries. Nice birdie there as well. And that's a tap-in for Dave. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Yeah, and that's a tap-in for Paul as well. Star frame on this one, and one of the tougher holes. I think it's the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Those are some awesome shoes Paul's got right there. They're bright. They are bright, man. You won't get lost in the forest of those things. Don't worry about getting shot by a hunter. True. You know? <laughs>
Paul McBeth, still with the three circle lead over Will and Dave. Everybody's on fire right now. And uh, we're on to another long hole. There's tight window coming off the box with uh, pretty low branches. And it kind of just fades left the entire way, and then it really pinches down towards the pin. And uh, Paul had a beautiful drive right there. Got pretty much as far as you want to get on your drive. Dave lazes it out there. Just pures it. Wow. Stays out of the brush on the left, too. That's a nice drive. Whoa! Big germs yeah. throwing the tomahawk. That was huge. <laughs> oh my god, I can only imagine how far I think I could throw a tomahawk. That was huge, dude. Wow, that was a bomb. Well, I haven't seen him bust that out before. That's kind of cool. That's a good oh. shot for this hole, though. Oh, unfortunate trees. Yeah, Will missed the gap a little bit and kind of faded out left short. So here's the second shot there on the forehand cuff. Wow. Fights through. That was a good up from yeah. there. Paul's pretty much got to throw the same shot he threw on his drive, on his up shot, and I think he pretty much did that. He looked pretty close. I think he should have to put, like, with a pirate patch on, you know, the eye patch. <laughs> yeah, just to even the game out a little yeah, bit. Maybe like a parrot squawking <laughs> on his shoulder also, you know. He's just too focused. I don't even think it'll bug him. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Jeremy had a nice shot. Dave had a nice shot. And uh, here's Will for Bird. Looks a pretty far putt. Yeah, he gave it a run, though. Yeah, he definitely did. And here's the big germ for three. Oh, Ooh. no! Chain basket, no love, Kev. No problem for Paul right there. Beautiful drive and upshot, and you can say the same about Dave with his birdie right there. It's always nice when you don't have to putt. Yeah, you know, Dave's pretty good. Dave, <laughs> Dave could probably bang from anywhere anyway. And there's that big German, Will, tapping in their pars. Uh, Paul, still with three-stroke lead. Uh, Will slips one back from Dave, though. And we're on the hole 13, par 4, what was this, Kevin? 597, something like that. That's a long hole. Tight window coming out. Ooh, left a little low. Where'd it go? Did you see it? Looks like it hit the ground on that hill and kind of went a little left. Ah, uh, okay. I think that's the height he was looking to get. Wow, nice shot by Dave right there. Fades out just a hair more than he wants, but he's still going to have a look for him a second. Sidearm galore. Oh, big germ whipping it out there. Uh, a little low, but at least he got out there. It looks like a tight window coming off the box right there. It really does. Yeah. Will's Heiser flipping something. Oh, the raw power out of that wow, kid. Oh, man. Oh. Gets munched up by the brush. Ooh, Paul did go a little oh, left, yeah. didn't he, Kev? Oh. Looks like oh, he, oh, tough out. Oh, that was a tough out. Jeremy throwing another wow. tomahawk. Tomahawk, or is that about a thumber? Yeah, it's a thumber. Yeah, that one is a thumber. So the pin's just behind that tree, I want to say. So. You know, I can't throw either or, so we can call them whatever we want <laughs> That's to. a good point. Those things tear my shoulder <laughs> up so bad. Yeah, well... Uh, that's, you know, great out shot. Yeah, yeah, give him a chance to save par. Will's second shot's looking pretty good as well. Oh, did he hit, hit that tree right there and kick left a little bit, I was saying? Really, yeah, I think he went a little far. Yeah. Dave's throwing right at the pin. Oh, Ooh. little right. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, he does. Little long, little right, but not bad at all. Oh, Jeremy with a cool putt for three right here. Yeah, that's a cool shot. Through the. Oh, Jeremy, you gotta make those, man, when they're looking cool, it. right? <laughs> Here's Paul to try to save his par. McBanger. Yeah, that's crazy. That's good. Blows off the fingers, you see that? Yeah. A little styly action right there. <laughs> Will for Bird. Oh, Will. You gotta want that. Yeah, that's definitely in Will's range. And here's Dave for a nice birdie. Yeah, no problem. Feldbeard. Feldbeard making up a stroke on uh, Macbeth right there. And there's a uh, Will and Big Germ tapping in their force. 
And uh, that's all I got for part two, guys. We'll catch you in part three.